Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the books that I'm planning on using for next school year with my first grader. It's quite a pile, so I hope you stick around for the entire video. And before I do get started, I want to welcome all of you who are new to my channel and this is your first time here. Hello, welcome. My name is Janet and I am a stay-at-home mom to two boys and we are a homeschooling family. My oldest is five and will be six during the summer. So by the time uh, next school year starts, he will be six. And he is starting first grade. My little one is three years old, so we also do a bit of taught school, preschool stuff uh, with him. Here on my channel, I just share a bunch of that stuff, including our routines, my planner, stuff that we're doing and all that. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope you stick around for more. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out a ton. And um, now let's go ahead and uh, get into the stack. So the first two I got from Costco and this one is the animal book and they also had I think the history book and the ocean no they had like um several different books different color and then they were about a, a specific thing but David picked out this one the animal book and it has some beautiful photographs in here I haven't done any unit specific for animals but they constantly pick they are constantly picking this uh book up and just flipping through the pages and looking at the pictures and asking questions and all that so this one is a lot of fun and i again i got this one from costco and then i also picked up this the children's encyclopedia the book that explains everything and i loved this book flipping through the pages so it has your table of contents you know and it really does cover everything and then at the end it gives you a few pages of reference so like it includes uh different alphabets uh, different scientists uh the tree of life a multiplication chart uh the different shapes the clock uh the planets the presidents the timeline of the civil war uh, different religions, world map, and then a glossary and an index. I know we will be getting good use out of this next school year when we really dive into our unit studies uh, for science and social studies. So I'm really excited for this one. Now for Bible, I did pick up a few things. I picked up How Great Is Our God? And we already have uh, Indescribable by Louis Giglio, which is the same author of this one. And they're both a hundred uh, indescribable devotions about God and science, but the lessons are similar. It has different stories and different fun facts and uh, different examples and that sort of thing. I've used this to create our science curriculum last year for kindergarten. So I am excited to incorporate this one. We've gone through this one. This is something that we usually do in morning basket. Just read uh, a page on here, a, a spread and read the fun facts, do a little prayer a Bible verse, uh, sort of like a lesson thing, and then obviously tie in uh, the Bible. And then also it will give you a fun fact and end it with a short prayer. I think this is awesome for morning or nighttime. Um, you can use it. And the, the new one comes with a little uh, ribbon page marker, which is, which is cute. Speaking of morning basket, we don't we kind of steered away from morning basket it's not so heavy anymore it's just really bible and journal sort of thing just to kind of uh get us started and give me some time to tidy up from breakfast so uh something else that i am going to be including in that um is this right here it's a christian gratitude journal for kids with bible verses and i picked this one out because it was literally like most kid friendly like especially for my kids their age simple straight to the point and it's just one page a circle the day write in the date thank the lord for and then have your kid list three things and today i will uh, strive to be and they get to fill that in and it'll give you the bible verse the blessings that they brought us and uh, we'll write a little bit about it and then a doodle of the day david loves doodling all of his worksheets are covered in doodles and then I also got 
my illustrated Bible for beginning readers, level one, I can read. This is the narrowed down version of the, the already narrowed down version, okay? You are not going to get a full Bible here. Um, it is meant for your child to be able to read it. It does have the Old Testament and the New Testament but it is very, very simple. Again, your child is supposed to be able to read this and it does tell you where you can find it in your Bible. Uh, that's something else I can uh, help David with, uh, how to use the Bible, how to find the different verses, the different books and all that. So uh, it does have uh, where you can find it in your Bible. I also picked up Oh, The Places You'll Go. And this one, I think this is going to be David's uh, like graduation gift. Uh, we'll read it and we'll talk about it. And I love on the back cover, it says this book is 98 and three fourths percent guaranteed to inspire. The rest is up to you. Yeah, we're not canceling Dr. Seuss in this household. Now we also have a unit for character development all about making choices and how our choices affect our day and that sort of thing. So I have these two books that you probably have seen behind me uh, in the schoolroom. I picked this one up, My Magical Choices. And there's a whole series of this, uh, The Magic of Me. It's like my magical choices, my magical words, my magical emotions, I think, and like a bunch of things, right? But this one is My Magic, uh, my Magical Choices. And then this one, What Would Danny Do? You guys, the boys love this. It's an interactive book where your child can make the decisions so in this book, you technically get nine stories because there are different choices being made. Uh, so it changes the story. And here is your little guide. Uh, it tells you what page to turn to when your child makes a decision. Uh, so it takes you through Danny's day and then it gives you two options, two different choices. Usually there's one good choice, one bad choice. And they are pretty obvious. It's like you're not going to kind of <laughs> have a difficult time uh, knowing which one the right choice so it kind of takes you through his day and uh you see how they his day changes depending on the cho uh, choices he makes so we love this book there's also a girl version of i think what should darla do i think but this one is awesome you guys we also have a unit study on a human body and all of our uh, body systems and uh, i picked this one up human body activity book for kids so it has uh, obviously like the fun facts about the different uh, parts of the body not only the outside but also the inside skin hair nails and your skeleton uh your cells your immune system your heart and along with that it also has pages for activities listing in the blank circling and crossing out and that sort of thing and then i also picked up rocket writes a story for a whole like writing workshop that i'm planning out uh for us david uh is not a big fan of writing <laughs> so i needed to find a few other resources to help us with writing and like getting him excited about writing so i picked this up I picked up two more i can read uh readers this one's level one and it's uh danny and the dinosaur i actually shared this with you guys already in a, a target haul and then i also picked up this one the camping trip and then from costco i also picked up the big orange book of beginner books by dr seuss and it has six books in one they had different collections uh, as you can see, they have the different collections. David's been reading one of these for us uh, during bedtime. On to read alouds. I am so excited for our read aloud list. I've heard great things about all of these books and some of them I've already read. So I am excited to read them aloud. Uh, for read aloud, this isn't necessarily the ones that we actually do activities for. This is just we're reading aloud while David is doing his handwriting and his morning binder and that sort of thing. It's not one that we do book reviews for just because it's they're so long. Um, we do our book reviews and like different book activities for short ones like this and like this. <laughs> Have quite a few. Starting off with Where the Red Fern Girls. This book I actually purchased uh, a couple months ago because I wanted to reread it myself. Um, I bought this one with a 
along with a few that I read in when I was in high school and middle school. And this one I read in elementary school. I didn't remember much about it. I just remember, you know, getting all up in my feels and like it was probably like the first book that made me cry. So yeah, I also picked up Crenshaw by Katherine Applegate. And you guys, the story of this one, I wanted to cry just reading the back. So it says, Jackson and his family have fallen on hard times. There's no more money for rent and not much, uh, not much for food either. His parents, his little sister, and their dog may have to live in their minivan. Again, Crenshaw is a cat. He's large, he's outspoken, and he's imaginary. He has come back into Jackson's life to help him, but is an imaginary friend enough to save this family from losing everything? I know I'm probably gonna cry. I've heard really great reviews. I also picked up The Secret Sue uh, by Brian Chick. Now this one we actually started reading last year, uh, I think last summer on uh, my Kindle, but I think like it expired or something on my Kindle. I don't know, we fizzled out of it. So I am going to get back to this one. So we're gonna give this book uh, another try because we actually did enjoy it. I really don't know what happened there. Um, I think we just like stopped like doing read aloud for a little while. And yeah, I don't know what happened, but I'm excited to dive into this one again. Um, it's about uh, Noah and his, uh, his sister actually went missing and Noah is out looking for, for her and there's something weird at the zoo, like different doors and stuff and uh it's really exciting and filled with adventure and i know the kids uh enjoyed the first i think we read like five chapters and they really enjoyed those those chapters so i'm going to get back to this one beverly cleary is that how you say it? i don't know i used to love all like the ramona and like those books uh back when i was in elementary school so i am excited to dive into this one this is the mouse and the motorcycle and it is a series i don't know if they go in order this one doesn't have like book one or anything um i don't know but there's also there's a few more books uh this one so ralph will take the ride of his life so i know the boys love the short uh chapter books we've gone through several of the treasure tree ones and we've gone through all of the Henry Heckel Henry Hecklebeck. So I'm excited to dive into a, a new series. Another one I shared with you guys in my Target haul was this one, The Secret Explorers and the Jurassic Rescue. Everybody is raving about this one. The Wild Robot. It has been on it has been in my Amazon cart for a long time and I finally got it. Uh so many people are raving about this one. Uh it's two books now i think and the other one is on its way i also picked up this one the book wanderers i've also heard great things about this one and this last one i picked up pax now this one had such mixed reviews so i picked it up at target i'm really excited about it and i picked it up i bought it and then on amazon the reviews were totally like love it or hate it but a lot of people did mention that it might be uh, a little too much for kids like it shouldn't be a children's book uh they think a lot of people think that the topics and the the language used on here is too harsh for children so i think i am going to actually read this myself first and just kind of make my own decision on it and uh yeah but those are all the books that we got. Thank you so much for stopping by. Again, don't forget to subscribe for more. I have quite a few videos uh, planned for you guys. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.